to cut open the tub for my washing machine only because it's been welded and you can't replace the bearings and the bearings are gone. Mm. Got a group of tools here. I'm going to cut down this line where the joint is all the way around. But before doing that, of course, I've taken the drum out, sorry, the tub out, emptied it completely, dried it, and I've got a bit of a tricky bit here because this is the bottom of the tub, and uh, what you have over here is a long flat area, so you can't really stretch the, the axle forwards and backwards very much. You've got to do very short movements. The other thing you need to watch out for is um, the heat element is inside the tub over here and uh, there's a securing metal piece just under where I'm sawing at the moment. I don't know if you can see it through here but it's just up at the top next to the axle blade and uh, the danger of course is that it gets damaged so as soon as you hear the metal sign you need to, the sound you, that means you've cut through the tub you can stop cutting now. Nice straight line, nice straight line cutting out, right round. I've already hit the drum a couple of times, so I know that I've managed to cut through. Done. Okay, the great moment. There we go. Off comes the front. And here was that really tricky part that I was cutting through just now. Typical bleak marks, and that bearing is there, and the seal is gone. The seal is gone, the bearing is moving around and rattling around. So, what the good news is that the whole of the plastic hub is uh, still intact, so we'll be able to put a new um, bearing in there without a problem. I hope. This is all gunge from, from dirty washing stuff. We'll do it with that just now. Yes, the shaft looks a bit rusty. We'll have to clean that up. We also have to look at this part. This is a really important part because that's where the seal runs. Stop water from getting into the bearings. Make sure that's nice and clean. Then it breaks in here. This looks all solid. It's a bit dirty inside. You can see how the welded this. And they did a pretty good job of welding it, mind you. And it looks as if they've just filled the place where the gasket goes with um, those welding rods and then just heated it and gone round. This is the little tricky place where I mentioned. I'm gonna have to figure out how to deal with this. Okay, so the tub is nicely cleaned. Um, had the old bearings pressed out clean the inside and spray a bit of WD-40 because I didn't want any rust to come up in there. You can still see the markings over here, having washed the tub, how to align the front and the back parts of the tub. Let's have a look at the back. The back looks perfect. Mm -hmm. Place for the bearing, cleaned out. It's already bearing. This is the front part, once again. The alignment marking is still there, nice and clean. And uh, we also have the drum. The drum is also nice and clean. Managed to get most of the calcium residue out using ordinary vinegar. 10% vinegar from Tesco. Costs near to nothing. Just soak it and then it all rinses off nicely. There's a bit of residue here on this um, on the spider, but you shouldn't worry too much about that. That will come off when we use a cleansing. Um, tablet during the pre-wash period. Look down the shaft, the shaft is okay. It looks as if there's little signs of rust, but I've covered it with WD-40 just to make sure it doesn't get any more rust. And this little part over here is really important because that's where the seal that stops the water from coming into the bearings it runs. Got to make sure that's all nice and polished and shiny. I didn't use any sandpaper, I just used um, of cloth and some WD-40 and just polished it off. Put the 
two halves together, the right place, clamp them down with some clamps. These are used for woodwork, but I'm going to use them anyway. I've got some extra piece of wood just in case I need to uh, reinforce the position of those clamps. And then I'm going to drill four millimeter holes into the this part over here. If you can just have a look right through. And we're going to put them all around so that we can join the two halves together. From my understanding is that the, the silicon I put in between when I seal it will be used just as a, a sealant, but it won't really hold the two halves together. You've got to remember that the you've got the the big mm, stone weights that are uh, bolted down onto the front housing and you've got these big stone weights in the back and then you've got the drum moving around inside so you can actually get a quite a lot of pressure build up between the two halves and so I really want to get the physical connection, the mechanical connection done well so that we don't have any problems with leakages afterwards. This is that special little uh, tube here that's used to measure the water pressure with the level of the water inside the tub. And what I'm going to do, I'll point this out with a screwdriver, is I'm going to put silicon around here to make sure that there is a, a seal. And then I'll drill holes, probably two, three, four over here, just to make sure that mechanically that it doesn't get, any, again, get divided by any pressure that it comes up. Okay, so we've got the two halves aligned there. You can see that I've got this um, signing there, H1 h1 and then round on the other side we've got our h2 and h2 so that's uh, perfect now when you're putting this together don't try and sand the surfaces together because you don't need an ideal fit you cut through it so the way it was cut is the way it should join up it's like a jigsaw puzzle if there's a little bend there in one piece there should be a, a mirror image of that bend in the other piece so just put it put the top down and play with it a little bit and get it, get, you feel it falling into place. Just like when you're doing a jigsaw puzzle, you feel the piece that fits is the right piece. And then what I did is, if you look at the joint inside the tub, okay, I went round and round, holding my finger, pressing my finger against the edge, just until I felt that it was smooth all the way around. And I had to do that about five times to make sure that it all aligned well. Now, what I've realized now when I'm doing this is that this is actually probably the most important part of putting this um, cut, welded tub back together. Because uh, had I put the silicon on and tried to stick it together and then drill the holes, then I don't think I'd be able to get it aligned properly like I have now. Secondly, I'd be stressed out because the silicon would start drying and um, uh, I'd be still trying to, to squeeze certain parts, screw it down and fasten uh, the sides down. So what I'm going to do now is, without much stress, I'm going to clamp it down with those wooden clamps I showed you earlier on. And then uh, drill the holes, put the nuts and bolts in all around, make sure that it's all really nicely sitting properly. And then I'll be able to take it off once I've got the, the tub bearings installed and the seal, the new seal in place with the uh, spindle inside, I'll be able to put it in and realign everything based on the holes that I've drilled. And that'll be much easier than the, the 10 minutes of aligning that I've just spent now. Um, on top of that, once you've got the, the, the silicon adhesive around the surfaces, you don't really want to spend time. In fact, I'll show you the silicon that I've bought because the silicon compound that I've bought is in fact um, not just the ordinary uh, sanitary silicon or the ordinary silicon that you buy. It's silicon for PVC. Now this is a PVC material so you need an adhesive that will stick to PVC. Otherwise after a while it may start leaking. I say may because I have no experience with this and I'm only assuming that that's what may happen. Okay, I've put the clamps on the wood clamps. Um, what I chose to do is uh, find the most awkward places so that I can leave as much accessible space to drill the holes. 
So the clamps are in sort of the awkward little places where I wouldn't be able to drill anyway. And uh, that's the way it looks. It's all clamped together, and I'll start drilling the holes. Now with the holes, I've decided, having looked and studied uh, on YouTube, a lot of um, films where people have opened these tubs out, but the openable type, that the, the clamps and the screws and the bits and pieces that hold the two halves together are usually around 15 centimeters apart. I'm going to do them 10 centimeters apart here because I just like to play it safe knowing that this tub was designed to be welded together and not held together every couple of centimeters by screws or whatever other components, the clips that are used. Okay, so I'm doing it all without the glue at the moment, without the drum inside, just to practice and to align everything, make the holes ready, so that when it comes to putting in the adhesive and the drum inside, that I'll be ready to align the, the outside two halves and put the bolts in straight away. Okay, I'm going to try and keep my shadow out of this. Uh, what I've done over here is, without putting the silicon um, sealant, I've uh, clamped the two halves of the tub together, drilled and lined them properly, there goes the shadow, and uh, screwed it down. Turns out the 25 screws all together, it's quite a tricky uh, job every 10 centimeters. And uh, before you start this job, you need to get yourself a long drill bit. Not because you need to deep, very deep, deep holes, it's just that you need to have the drill bit straight and if it isn't long enough, you will, the, the side of the drill will, will get caught and will, will touch the side of the tub and then the drill bit will go where it's bent. So you need to have a long drill so that you can have nice straight holes. And uh, this, is a sp this is the part where I mentioned that there's this special container that I cut open so I've had to put four screws around it to make sure that it gets me mechanically held together properly so the silicon seals it off. Okay, I'm going to try and keep my shadow out of this. Uh, what I've done over here is, without putting the silicon um, sealant, I've uh, clamped the two halves of the tub together, drilled and lined them properly, there goes the shadow, and uh, screwed it down. Turns out the 25 screws all together, it's quite a tricky uh, job every 10 centimeters. And uh, before you start this job, you need to get yourself a long drill bit. Not because you need to deep, very deep, deep holes, it's just that you need to have the drill bit straight. And if it isn't long enough, you will, the, the side of the drill will we'll get caught and we'll, we'll touch the side of the tub and then the drill bit will go where it's bent. So you need to have a long drill so that you can have nice straight holes. And uh, this, is a sp this is the part where I mentioned that there's this special container that I cut open. So I've had to put four screws around it to make sure that it gets me mechanically held together properly so the silicon seals it off. And um, the motor will be going on here. So, I've got some screws just underneath the motor as well. And one little tricky job that I had to do with the motor is that one of the nuts turns out to be just in this housing over here. You can't really see it's not getting into focus, but it's just in there. Okay. But otherwise, it was quite simple to do. The plastic's soft, you need to be careful that you don't drill through it and end up with a hole that you have to repair. Plastic. So it's looking good. The next step will be to put the bearings and the new seal uh, onto the, uh, the, the, the tumble itself, uh, onto the spider shaft, and then we'll be installing it into the tub hopefully tomorrow. And then we'll come to the silicon seal and tightening up all of the bolts and nuts. Uh, one of the things I did notice uh, when I was putting it together that before I drill the hole, I'll just go across and make sure that the, there's an even edge here. That means that the, the joint is sitting properly and hasn't been pushed out of line. So you need to do that every time you drill a hole. 
Um, the other thing is I've ordered some stainless steel screws. These are just ordinary uh, screws with small nuts in them. Four millimeter screws, by the way. And um, as soon as the stainless steel one has come, uh, I'll be putting them because there's bound to be some humidity. And as soon as these ordinary screws get the humidity, they rust a lot and they'll be a bit messy. With the stainless steel screws, I've also got um, self-locking nuts so the thing doesn't come open when the, so the, the nuts don't come open undone when the washing machine is being used because there's quite a bit of vibration that goes through here. Okay, that's all for now. Uh, one of the things I did notice uh, when I was putting it together that before I drill the hole, I'd just go across and make sure that the, there's an even edge here. That means that the, the joint is sitting properly and hasn't been pushed out of line, so you need to do that every time you drill a hole. Um, the other thing is I've ordered some stainless steel screws. These are just ordinary uh, screws with small nuts in them. Four millimeter screws, by the way. And um, as soon as the stainless steel one has come, uh, I'll be putting them, because there's bound to be some humidity. And as soon as these ordinary screws get the humidity, they rust a lot and they'll be a bit messy. With the stainless steel screws, I've also got um, self-locking nuts, so the thing doesn't come open. When the, so the, the nuts don't come open undone when the washing machine is being used because there's quite a bit of vibration that goes through here. Okay, stage one, I've put the drum in and uh, before I pushed the, the drum into the new bearings I had to use some Loctite bearing sealant because the shaft at the edge where the small bearing is was going in slightly loose. There's ever so little play in it, and I just didn't feel like putting in something that had play in it because I don't want to have to open this washing machine again in a long time. And the uh, next thing, of course, is to put the, the, the pulley on on the back and tighten.